In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And in the Spirit. Gathered together as God's family, let us now acknowledge all our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to me, for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth peace, peace to people, to people of goodwill. Good will. We praise, we praise you, you. We, we bless you, you. We, we adore you, we, we glorify you, you. We, give we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said to the people, I am a Jew, born at Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in the city at the feet of Gamaliel, educated according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers, being zealous for God as you all are this day. I persecuted this way to the death, binding up and delivering to prison both men and women. As the high priest and the whole council of elders bear me witness, from them I received letters to the brethren. And I journeyed to Damascus to take those also who were there and bring them in bonds to Jerusalem to be punished. As I made my journey and drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from heaven suddenly shone on me, and I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, 
I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now, those who were with me saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said to me, Rise and go to Damascus, and there you will be told all that is appointed to you to do. And when I could not see because of the brightness of that light, I was led by the hand by those who were with me, and came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, well spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and standing by me said to me, Brother Saul, receive your sight. And in that very hour, I received my sight and saw him. And he said, The God of our fathers appointed you and know his will, to see just one and to hear a voice from his mouth. For you will be a witness for him to all men of what you have seen and heard. And now, why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away all your sins, calling on his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be, go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Please repeat. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, all your nations. Acclaim him, all your peoples. Your response? Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Your response? Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Kindly stand for the acclamation. I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit shall abide, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will cast out demons they will speak in new tongues they will pick up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it will not hurt them they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover this is the gospel of Jesus Christ Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. my dear brothers and sisters today we are celebrating the feast called the conversion of Saint Paul St. Paul is a personality 
that attracts all of us and a very amazing one but before I make a reflection on his life and on today's celebration I would like to place before you the case of sister Rani Maria she was working in Madhya Pradesh and in 1995 she was murdered stabbed repeatedly at least they say 30 to 40 times she was pulled out from the bus from her place of work in Madhya Pradesh in a remote village she was going back home and that <coughs> and that is her home in Kerala for holidays having worked there for many years and then on the way a man appears stops the bus this man her killer Samandar Singh he was prompted by somebody else you know there are so many fundamentalists in India and he stabbed her and killed her there and there now this is a persecution why because she was follower of Christ she was doing the work of Christ to work among the tribals you must have a daring courage and she did it and she suffered and the church proclaimed her as martyr but mind you there is a, a time of grace that comes in our lives this killer Samanda Singh was jailed as you know he was in the jail for 11 years her sister Rani's sister is also in a nun from the same congregation she went to visit him in the jail in the cell and she hugged him she tied Raki to his hand and said you are my brother I forgive you and this man since then changed his life not only that uh, the sister who went to visit him and other family members including the bishop of the archdiocese in Madhya Pradesh made a petition to the governor to release him nobody would have done it and she did it and she was released out of prison after having spent 11 years and when he was in the prison you know he had a remorse his conscience was pricking him and he wanted to kill the person who had instigated him to kill this sister but this grace came through this sister who visited him God's grace and he said I will now as I'm out of the jail will continue the work of sister Rani Maria and still he is taking care of the tribals particularly Christian tribals and when his petition had gone to the governor or MP governor also was surprised and this is what governor said only you Christians can truly forgive you are a great example go I shall do all I can to get him out and very recently at 2017 Pope had invited him and as well as uh, sister Rani's uh, sister Selmi Her name is Selmi sister Selmi to visit him in the Vatican but uh, both could not make it because they were denied visa so my dear brothers and sisters come back to Paul try to understand Paul he was Saul he was such a man eager to kill a Christian follower of Christ and he could make out who was Christian by name 
as we have God, Peter, Francis, these are our names. We can make out that you are a Christian. And he used to take a pride and joy in telling, I have killed so many. That's why you see in his hand a sword. But the moment of God is always there. And this moment is a moment of grace, a special grace, as you have heard in today's reading. He was uh, on the horse going to Damascus, and there he wanted to kill more people. He fell down. The light flashed on his uh, eyes. He fell down and he heard the voice, Saul, Saul, what are you doing? Why are you persecuting me? And he asked Jesus, uh, he asked, who are you talking to me? And uh, Jesus said, I am the one, you are persecuting me. And there was immediate change, conversion. That is the event that we are celebrating to him, conversion. And Jesus tells him, go to Nan An Ananias. And do what he will tell you. And since that moment, no turning back. He went ahead. He became the apostle. Let us learn from this great man. He really attracts us. How we can change our lives if we are open to God's grace. And another conviction that we must create, that at every moment of our day-to-day -day life, God's grace is flowing in each one of us. At this Mass, you all will receive grace. Let us accept God's grace and do witnessing to Jesus. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, Amen. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb, Lamb of God, God, take away the sins of the Lord. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in the
let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thy goodness, Jesus, will I sing.